So for 2013, what we've introduced is um, essentially foul weather outer gear. We have um, we have basically four pieces, three pieces, uh, not counting the gloves. Uh, we have what we have is a shell. We have a two and a half layer cocoa shell. The idea with our stuff was to make it as absolutely breathable as possible. Um, that's why we ended up going with Kona. The company allowed us to build our own fabrics, our own face fabrics, laminates, the whole thing. Um, this stuff with camo printing is rated at 30,000, actually 31,500K breathability, 20,000 waterproof, which is about 50% greater than the next closest product and about probably three to four times more breathable than most products are after they get printed. Um, so uh, waterproof zippers um, on everything, armpit zippers, and then higher than um, we call them Napoleon boxes, they're a little bit taller. So if you're wearing a waistband on your uh, on your backpack or anything, you can still access everything inside. So the three pieces consist of the two and a half layer shell, the puffy, the hooded puffy. Synthetic type insulation. Yeah, it. it's Kokona. We use Kokona on the inside. Uh, down works well. Treated down works well. It's not as breathable and soaking wet, um, it doesn't retain its heat. Um, Is there any rating on it, like compared to like you know, female off has a synthetic rating as far as the you know what? This stuff is it's a 100 fill in the body and a, and a 60 fill in the arms. Okay, with the Kona special sauce, it's apple to oranges. I know it, you know it's similar with the, where the Kona is different, and you use the Kona this, this, and this is that it uh, is that it um, uses carbon to help evaporation, it's called accelerated evaporation. You know, so the combination between the wool and the merino allows it to, as soon as your body starts to get hot and there becomes a big temperature variation between the outside of the fabric and the, in, the inside of the fabric, it will start pulling moisture to the outside. Even if you have three layers of merino, it'll pull it all the way to the outside of the merino and then the cocona kicks in and pulls it to the outside of the cocona. What that allows it to do is it makes you feel more comfortable and it gets the moisture to the outside where it can evaporate. Once it evaporates, it can't smell. What makes stuff smell is when it gets caught in the fiber, that's how the bacteria forms and starts to smell. And that's the reason why Merino, you can wear it for days and days before it starts to smell, because it's so good at evacuating the, uh, the, the moisture. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the North Face uses component, tons of SKUs this year, a uh, couple of RAV, uh, first Ascend, that Eddie, Eddie Bauer Super High End. Um, company's about five years old. We've been working with them I don't know, for probably a couple years to get it developed and printed and everything like that. So the so, same thing in the pants as well then? The pants is actually, I'm sorry, the pants is, so there's actually three different materials. This is just a hard shell, if you will. This is an insulated piece. The pants are a soft shell. Okay. The unique big thing about the pants is it's got a full, it's got a full six zipper system. So the pants, you can ventilate like this and leave open if it's you know hot, or you can zip them all the way down if you have to go to the bathroom without taking anything else off. Um, it's you know it's a pretty common feature in mountaineering pants, but I think so, probably the first it's really really over to take it out. Is the fit going to be similar to like the knob in that thing? It is. It's the new knob. Right. So the yeah. fit's quite large, like. You know, it's, I'd say you can ease like a normal large, a 36 inch waist guy could easily wear the, could easily wear the size larges, uh, even if he wants to wear the canabs under them with long John Zell fit, unless he's got, you know, yeah. ski racer, football player thighs, you know? right. yeah. but, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's the new fit, the 2011 canabs we struggled with, they were too tight, you know, it's kind of more of a Patagonia based fit model and hunters aren't built like that, right. so. Yeah. Now, yeah, the fit's generous to say the least. Yeah, you know, it's like in line with those hunters. Cool. Yeah. It's an exciting expansion to the line. Yeah, you know, it is. We um, we were the first guys to bring in Merino, and we were excited about that. And, you know, it, 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 people were into it. And, but as the line kind of evolved, we had tons of people that just wanted a complete kit. And now we basically have a kit that will take you to zero in the west or zero in an active hunting situation or down to about, you know probably 20 in the tree. Good deal. Yeah. yeah. All uh, all the new pieces available and all patterns are still in ASAT and everything else. All the new pieces are available in the new Realtree Extra which is the you know, we have a little launch partners with Realtree and that. 
the Max one and the ASAP. Um, the jackets are available in the dryer also, the brown. Okay.